blessing. The season that the Lord has made for you and I. So I want to talk about peace of mind. God loves everybody. He loves everybody. Nobody is too important than another. Everybody is important in the sight of God. When you look at it, in the season where we are, many people notice and see the season. Many observe the season, both believers and unbelievers. God knows that some people don't believe in him. And he knows that some believe in him. You that believe in God, believe in the blessings of the Lord. That your life is blessed. God has blessed me. So what I owe God is praises. I owe to thank God. I owe to appreciate God. If you don't thank God, if you are not thankful and if you are not appreciative, you are opposing God. But in you, you claim to people. You know, people like to pretend. People pretend that they praise God. People pretend that they are happy. People pretend that they worship God. But in you, you know that your heart is not praising God. Your heart is not appreciative. Because you feel that you have not achieved anything that will make you to be thankful and appreciative. Be grateful for the grace of God is in you. Be grateful. It is very important. Some people have good work. They have good career. Some are doing well in business. Some are married with children. But their hearts, their hearts are full of unpleasant thoughts and emotions. Their hearts are, are full of trouble and troubles. Their hearts are full of ill thoughts and negative thoughts. Even though they have everything. Some people don't have. They don't have good career. They don't have good job. They don't have money. They are not married. You don't have child. Talk less of, talk, uh, talk more of children. You don't have any. For years you married. But I want to tell you something today that you have God. Somebody say I have God. Are you sure of that? You have God. Because you have God, you are blessed. The most important thing you need in life the most important person you need in life is god when you have god believe that every other thing our lord jesus christ say that you seek ye first the kingdom of god and all these things you are seeing they shall be added unto you some will be added to you in your young age some will be added to you in your old age even though you will not have all of them, but you have the kingdom of God in your heart. So you have everything. That's what he taught us. We, the believers. So that heart that believed that this is the season of God, 
that heart is blessed. Somebody say, I'm blessed. I'm taking you to the book of St. John, chapter 14. We will read verse 27. St. John, chapter 14, we read verse 27. We read together. Peace, I live with you. My peace, I give unto you. Not as the word give it. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Thank you, Jesus. Like I said that I'm talking about peace of mind. Blessing of God is peace. When you find peace in you, you are blessed. You may have not achieved that you are seeking for. But in your mind, you don't have any grudges. You are not fighting with anybody. You are not competing with anybody. You are satisfied with who you are. With who God has made you to be. Your life is blessed. Your life is blessed. This season, our Lord Jesus Christ was saying to us, we believe in him, the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, that he came to give us peace. He brought peace into the world. Any heart that accepts this peace is blessed. Even though some people, like I told you, some people, they are not believers, but they are celebrating. They are celebrating, but they are not believers. And when you as a believer, you look at them, you want to live life like them. You forget who you are. Some people have not visited house of God in their lives. But they will tell you that they are celebrating this season. No matter what they call it. Go to your hometowns, you see them rejoicing, coming to village, celebrating one thing or the other. But they are not believers. They believe in deities. In this case, you know, as some of them that are not believers, they are planning, they are planning on how to give some people trouble. They are planning on how to destroy many souls. They are planning on how to destroy many families. Some people are planning how to show themselves, they will showcase themselves this season, that they are bigger than others. They are richer than others. They are way dear than others. Some people now are planning on how to intimidate you spiritually and physically. And you are looking at them. Child of God, nothing has changed in your life. The only thing that's changed in your life is that your heart will be full of celebration in the Lord. My heart will be full of celebration in the Lord. You know, you are not competing with anybody. So, that is, that is why you should not forget about your business you have been building up since the first month of the year the business you want to grow then you are gathering the money to go and spend keep on planning your life for the next year you know say I will wait when I finish the one I have acquired next year I will start again your next year starts now your preparation. When others are planning on how to go and waste, you plan on how to adjust yourself. Plan how your next year is going to be. That you are not going to suffer. You are not going to beg. You are not going to be stranded. You are not going to be frustrated. Remember that you have responsibilities as a man you have responsibilities as a woman things I should do by next two weeks by next three weeks by next month and if you believe that time is running out time is running out let me just meet up you are not meeting up with anything this time you are not meeting up with anything you are a believer you don't look at others that don't believe what makes you a believer is your wisdom. You are acquired through the gospel. What you have packaged in you, they are the Holy Ghost. 
that will guide you by next year. What is in you? What do you have packed for yourself? So your heart, the peace of mind you have given to yourself, the satisfaction you have with God. Some people say I have not made it this year. Because you have not achieved this, or you have not achieved that. But let me tell you, the truth is that you have made it. You are with God. You are with God. That's the most important thing. That's your divine achievement. You are with God. So you will not be loosed. You will not allow yourself to be controlled. Lord Jesus said that the peace he will give to you. That you will never have it in the world. All these events where you think that you will go and find joy and find peace. No, 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 no. They will never give you that internal peace. What gives you internal peace is your up going. You keep on going. You keep on rolling life. You keep on rolling this life. Will give you that eternal peace. If your heart is occupied with all the good teachings you are hearing from the servants of God, if your heart is occupied with the word of God, you are the true celebrant this season. You are the true celebrant. You don't look at them. You are the one that is the true celebrant. The only book says that you should not be afraid. Let your heart not be troubled with all these physical things you are seeing. Let your heart do not trouble. Do not allow your heart to be troubled because of this, because of that. They are not important in the sight of God. What is important in the sight of God is your heart of peace. The peace of your mind. The peace of your mind is very, very important in the sight of God. We have been hearing gospel. We have been hearing the word of God. All these months, all these years, what have you achieved? True faith. Faith is a spirit. You have through the word of God. Through it, you have comfort. Some people need people in their lives today. But when you have God, you are satisfied. Through faith, you have comfort. Your life is blessed. Not because you have achieved physical achievements, but because you have achieved divine achievements. That is why you have find that comfort in you. You are moving with the grace of God. With that grace, God will never allow you to be deceived or to be destroyed by the evil doers. What is in you, the power of God in you, we intimidate every evil that has been planned against you, against your family this season. That is why you must surely celebrate victory. When they are celebrating to destroy, you, you are celebrating victory. Because everybody is not happy for you. Everybody can never be happy for you. When you have that mindset that I am pleasing people and people are pleased with me. You must fail. You are a failure. But when you have that courage in you that you are a special entity that many people don't understand who you are and they want to destroy whatever that is making you to feel that you are somebody. You know, when you are not doing what people are doing. They feel that that is something that is making you to feel that you are better than them. So that thing, they would like to destroy it. And what is that? Somebody say my faith. People are eager to destroy your faith. So that you go where they are going. 
You visit wrong places they are going. You worship deities they worship. You do whatever they are doing. Those things you refuse to do. You don't know when you start doing them. Because your faith is destroyed. Child of God. You have a long way to go. Peace of mind. Is the blessing of God in your life this season. Do not commit. Do not have commitments. That will destroy who you are. Do not have commitments. In relationship. Do not have commitments. With your broad relatives. Do not have commitments with them. As far as you are not in the same faith with them. Do not have commitments with them. It will destroy your faith. By next year. You will start from the grass again. Some people will leave their responsibility. A man will waste. A woman will waste. It's not up to a month now. Children will go back to school. You start begging. You become confused. That you spend on wheels can take care of those children's school fees. Remember. So you better forget about it. And mind the important things in your life. Some people will not have money to pay their house rent because of the money they gather to eat this season. Remember that your shield is more important to you than those places you want to go and those wears you want to wear. Remember that there are important things that you need in life. Follow it up. Follow those important things. Jot them down. Mark them. Keep their finance. Don't waste it. Know the important thing to do. And do the important things. So that you will find peace. If you can do this, you will find peace. And the blessing of God is with you. The blessing of God is moving with you. Blessing is following you. This season you see, you must surely celebrate victory. Because the power of God in you will intimidate your enemies. You will celebrate new baby in your life. You will celebrate your marriage. You will celebrate your new house. You will celebrate your new business. You will celebrate the growth of your business. The Lord will increase your business this season. God will favor you this season. He will take you to new levels of life. Child of God, you will celebrate. You will celebrate with your family. Your family will celebrate with you. You will not lack. You will never beg for food. You will celebrate your good health. No evil hand will touch you. No evil diseases will enter you. You will live and see next year. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus. You celebrate the Lord as well.